Hello everyone and welcome to Tech Edify. In today's video, I'm going to reveal 10 incredible keyboard shortcuts that will transform the way you use your computer. These tips will help you work faster, smarter and more efficiently. So let's dive right in and get started. And the first shortcut keys to get you work smarter on your computer is the Alt Plus tab. Now when you hold the Alt Plus tab on your computer, it gives you access to all windows that you've opened. So in case you want to navigate to any of the windows, now if you check on my screen, I've opened almost like six windows. Now if you want to navigate to any of the windows, I'll simply use the Alt Plus tab and that will navigate me to any windows that I want to access. Now supposing this is where I want to access, then I will leave my hand from the Alt and then I gain access to that particular window. Without coming down to the tax bar, to access them manually so anytime that you want to switch between windows you can use the alt plus the tab and then navigate to which windows you want to access now the second keyboard shortcut keys to get you work smarter on your computer is the windows plus shift plus s now this key can help you to take a screenshot on your screen or maybe a screenshot from any application that you've opened now let's see how we can take a screenshot on our desktop. So if I hold the Windows plus the Shift and then the S key, it will give me a portion to highlight to take a screenshot on my screen. So I will just drag anywhere on the desktop that I want to watch, take a screenshot and automatically my screenshot has been taken. Now to access this file, you can simply go to the Windows Explorer by using the Windows plus E. It will open your Windows Explorer for you. Then you go to pictures and then you see screenshots. So if you open this directory, you see the screenshot of whatever that you took. Now the third key is Windows plus V. Now Windows plus V can help you to know all clip art history that you have. In case you copied anything, they will all be centered at one place which you can access it. Now, if you check over my screen, you can see that my clip shot is not turned on. As you are using it for the first time, you have to click on it to turn it on. Now, let's see something. I'm going to copy any text from Microsoft Word or anywhere on my computer. Then, automatically, it will be saved on my clipboard. And I can use this text anytime that I want. So, let me go to Microsoft Word. And let's assume maybe I want to highlight on you need to check. So, by just doing Control c to copy automatically this text that i've copied has been saved on my clipboard now let's check it out there so let me go to the windows plus the v then you realize that all copied items or anything either cut or copied has been saved successfully on the clipboard i can reuse this text anytime now supposing i want to use it i can simply go to where i want to maybe i just want to rename this folder with this text so let me just simply right click on this and come to rename now with the rename i will use this text here and automatically it has what replace it with what i copied so anytime you copy it you cut you can access the history of your copy or cut from the clipboard by holding windows plus v there you can check it and use it at any time now the next key is Windows plus E. Now the Windows key plus E gives you access to your Explorer. Now the Windows Explorer helps you to navigate to any directory on your computer. So supposing I want to access any directory, there's no need for me to maybe go through to the, this PC icon and then maybe I can navigate. You can just simply click on the Windows plus E and then it gives you access to your Windows Explorer, which you can access any directory on your computer. Now the next key is Windows plus P. Now Windows plus P key will give you different kinds of screens that you can project to. Now the Windows plus P gives you options that you can switch your computer screen to any other screen. Now in case you have connected a projector and then you want to duplicate your screen, by holding the Windows plus P, it gives you access to projections options. 
PC screen only allows me to see what I'm doing. Duplicate can help me to duplicate the exact screen onto a projector. And then the extended can also give you another extension of your screen onto another screen. And this one is second screen only. That means if I want to show it only on the projector, then I can choose this. So anytime that you have connected your computer to a secondary screen, a projector or even a second screen, you can use Windows plus P and switch between how you want to view your things on that screen. Now the next key is Windows plus L. Now when you hold the Windows plus L key on your computer, it locks your computer screen. Now this can help you if you want to move away from your computer for some time. Maybe in a work or in a, an environment where you want to prevent people from using your computer screen, Windows plus L will keep your screen locked. And in case you have put a password on it, users need to log in to access your computer. So anytime maybe you are moving on from your PC without shutting it down, using Windows plus L will lock your screen. And if you have protected it with the password, it only allows users to put in the password before they continue. Now the next key is Control Alt plus Delete. Now Control Alt plus Delete will give you access to your tax manager. Now the tax manager can help you to manage applications that are running. Supposing I've opened an application and maybe it's not responding and I want to close the application. Without any avail, I can use the Control Alt Delete. And then here, I can simply right click on the application that I want to end and then automatically it can end that tax of application for me. You can see that there are a lot of applications running. These are apps that I've opened on my computer that are currently running. So if I want to shut down or I want to close any of the application, I can simply right click on it and then end tax. Now the next key is Windows plus D. Now, in case you have opened a lot of windows on your computer screen and then you want to get all of them minimized at the same time, using the Windows plus D will lower every program or any application that is open. And if you want to access it back, you can use the same Windows plus D and then it will get back all those windows active. So holding Windows plus D minimizes every program or every window that is open. But in case you have just opened one window and then you want to just minimize that particular window, you can use the Windows plus M and it will get that Windows minimized without you using the minimize button here. Now the next shortcut key is Alt plus F4. Now in case you have opened an application and you want to close it without you using the close button here, you can simply hold the Alt and then F4. And automatically that application will be closed let me try once on this one so let's assume maybe I have this window open and I want to close it without me choosing close here I can hold the alt and then the F4 and it gets closed if I want to close every application you can use the same thing and do to all the application that has been open here thank you for watching this video and I know this video has been very helpful Please don't forget to share this video to friends and don't forget to subscribe. And I know now you can work very smart with these all shortcut keys. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.